Anybody who's been in my office knows that I'm a huge fan of short bursts. However, I think running out of oxygen is something that we completely miss in today's exercise routine. Uh, the typical walking around the block, especially for anybody under 80 years of age, is probably not enough. So I thought it was probably time to demonstrate what I mean by short bursts and what I end up doing for short bursts at home. Certainly I still train in martial arts and there's a lot of short bursts involved with that. But on the times that I can't make it, um, or if I've just had a busy week, then I still make sure that I get my exercise in. We happen to have just a general pro form elliptical from home, or from home, from Costco. However, anything is going to work for short bursts. Uh, you can go as cheap as a jump rope. Just make sure your pets don't get too involved in that. They always have a tendency to seem to want to see what that spinning thing is whipping around the ear. But um, the elliptical I happen to like, I, this goes up to 24. I'll generally set it on 18. I use my cell phone timer because the timer on the device doesn't work with the whole short burst type deal. So um, get everything going. 18's got quite a bit of resistance. I'll hit start on my timer. And I typically recommend 30 seconds, 10 sets of 30 seconds. And I'm using my arms and legs. So generally quite a bit of work. Uh, my heart rate will typically get up around 170 or so. Um, I don't generally measure it, but I have, it's usually up around there. But the idea uh, is to deprive yourself of oxygen, depending upon, really quite frankly, what I'm watching on Netflix and how much I want to delay. My rest time is generally however long it takes my heart rate to come back down to normal. Um, usually in the first set, I may only wait three seconds or so, just because I'm too lazy to hit stop on the timer. <sighs> um, so in this case, I probably did about a um, 45 second wait before the next set. On this, I happen to switch handles each time. <laughs> I can't carry on a good conversation at this pace. And I'm usually really, really counting on those last five seconds or so. If you're not that intense, you're not doing the kind of workout that we're looking for for short bursts. So I finished nine total sets, uh, working on my tenth one. Um, I consider this actively watching Netflix. So, for those of you that don't like to exercise but like to watch TV, you might as well combine the two. <clears throat> I've made recommendations to families of an exercise bike. One person goes 30 seconds all out. The rest time is however long it takes the other families to cycle through the exercise equipment. And as I mentioned, just about anything works. However, treadmill has some danger, inherent dangers. We've all seen treadmill fails on the internet, and so... It's very hard to be going from a, a full-on run to stopping on a treadmill without something very dastardly happening. So from a safety standpoint, uh, elliptical or, or stationary bike works the best. So um, as I mentioned, this is the last set, still on 18. Um, let me start the timer. So this, I know that when I start on my ninth minute, that, that I'm on my last set. So still a little bit winded from the pre pre exercises, but I'm really using my arms pushing and pulling as well as my legs. I think that's the advantage of the elliptical. You can do a much better job of burning out oxygen in your body, which is what we're trying to do. Whew. 
So, in general, when I talk about being short bursts, this is the kind of intensity we should be at. Everybody's intensity is going to be different, depending upon the equipment, your fitness level, and your motivation at the time. But there is something about running out of oxygen that triggers your body to do protective things. Most likely in the heart, brain, and liver. All three organs I would like to keep in good shape. 